What's up? It's your self-proclaimed cinema showgun here, and I want to take some time out of my day to talk about a young hero named Tate Muir. Tate Muir was a junior student athlete at Oxford High School in Michigan who is both exceptional on the field and off the field. In fact, I would say he was the type of kid that any college recruiter would have been excited to come across. Not only did he have good grades, but he had good athletic abilities as well. I mean, this kid played both sides of the ball. He even made all region at both linebacker and tight end positions. His teammates would often describe him as tough and gritty on the field, and he was known to pull off whatever heroic feat necessary in order to get his team the victory. But not only was Tate a hero on the field, he was a hero off the field as well. And yesterday he sacrificed his life in order to try and save his fellow classmates. And I will say right here that I believe he saved countless lives yesterday. We all know about the incident that happened at Oxford High School yesterday. And during that incident, Tate charged the gunman and tried to, to hold him down, tried to get the gun away from him. And in the process, winded up sacrificing his own life, trying to help his classmates escape. Now, often we hear about, you know, various shootings and things like that, but it's not often that we hear about young, brave heroes like Tate. This story just absolutely broke my heart. I mean, it's hard even recording this video right now because I can't even imagine how brave of a kid you have to be to put yourself in that position, to sacrifice yourself in order to save others. And there's no, make no mistake about it, there's no doubt in my mind, there's no doubt at all that he saved countless lives. When they found the gunman yesterday, he still had seven rounds left. He still had seven rounds left, locked and loaded and ready. Tate stopped this man from taking other lives. Tate sacrificed himself in order for his classmates to make it home to their families. Tate didn't make it home to his family last night because he wanted to ensure that other people did. And it's these type of stories that don't get enough attention. It's these type of stories that I feel like we need to boost as high as they can go. Because we all need to aim to be a little more like Tate. Honestly, ask yourself, if you were put in that position, would you have had the courage to do what he did? I have to ask myself that question as well. I think all of us have to ask ourselves that question. Tate didn't have to ask himself that question. Tate, in the spur of the moment, as soon as the situation arose, he arose to the cause and he charged the gunman and stopped him from harming other people. And in the process, he received multiple, you know, wounds. I want you to understand that I can't necessarily say the words that I want to say here because we're on YouTube and there's a lot of censorship here, so I can't say certain words. So forgive me if it seems like I'm kind of talking in circles around what actually happened here, or forgive me if I can't say certain words or certain words that I say sound insensitive. But that's the reality of what we're dealing here with on this platform. So I'm trying to speak in the way that I can without, you know, YouTube taking down this video, basically. But looking at this, it just shakes me to my core. And it it's crazy because in a situation that's so horrific, you know, this story about what happened at Oxford High School, it's terrifying. Seeing the videos, hearing the stories, it's absolutely terrifying. But in a situation so horrific, something arose out of that situation that gave me a little more hope in humanity. Just when you think all humanity is lost, and how could we get to this point where something this bad happens? You get this story about Tate, and it kind of gives you that feeling like there's still people in this world. There's still good people in this world. There's still not just good people, but people willing to go the extra length to be good. Tate was an exceptional athlete. If anyone had a good chance of making it out, Tate probably did. Tate didn't turn around and run. And I'm not saying anything wrong with turning around and running. That's not what I'm saying here. 
I'm just acknowledging how heroic it had to be for Tate to do what he did. And I can't even imagine putting myself in those shoes or putting myself in that position. And at his age, this young kid at that age, didn't even think twice about it. Ran head first into harm's way to save his fellow classmates. And now there's a petition going on on change.org to change the name of the Wildcat Stadium at Oxford High School to Tate Mere Stadium. And I don't, ladies and gentlemen, I don't ask you guys for much. You know, I enjoy making these videos for you all. And I don't ask y'all for too much, do I? Today I'm going to ask y'all for something. Today I'm going to ask you guys to go sign this petition. It's on change.org. I want to ask you all to take some time out of your day. I always, at the end of my videos, I ask you guys, or I tell you guys to take some time out of your day to go watch a movie. Today, take some time out of your day to go sign this petition. They want around 75,000 signatures at the time of me making this video. I believe there's like 74,500 signatures or roughly around that. And I think we could blow this petition out of the water. Let's blow it right past 75, 85, 95, 100,000, as many, as many signatures as possible. Because I want to show the world and show Tate's parents and his friends and his loved ones and this high school that we got their back that we acknowledge how heroic Tate was and that there's still good people left in the world. So right now, let's all take some time out of our day to go sign this petition. And with that being said, I would like to know how you feel about this down in the comments below. Drop a like, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I will be more I will be back with more updates about this case soon. This is too proud of the diesel here in 2023. Tate Mayor. I, mean, I saw the INT, I got here for the second half. What a win for you guys. Just talk about how it felt to win a game like this in the rain, coming to Clarkson Revenge. Uh man, it feels awesome. I mean, um, it feels great. We haven't been to uh, playoffs since my freshman year. No, we weren't even uh, in it my freshman year. My brother's senior year, so 2018. This it, it just feels great. But um, in the rain, this is where we live. Rain is just like after football. Tough, muddy, everything about us is tough. It, it, what, what you know about after football, because you know you guys had a tough schedule this year. You are in a lot of great games. Your, your record might not be great, but you play a lot of hard teams. So it's a tough team. So just talk about how you guys are able to be so successful. Yeah, so, um, Start off the season rough. Um, I went three, but um, we, we didn't quit. We came back, we grinded, worked every day. We had trust each other, we all love each other. And we just started building there week by week by week. And here we are beating Clarkson week one, and we're hoping to do more. Playoff, yeah, playoff one. So talk about your role though. I mean, you play on both sides. I saw you get the INT. What, what are you bringing to this team? Um, so I play tight end, a little bit of running back and linebacker. And uh, I make most calls on defense. So I have a big role on defense. Um, but yeah, Mike Linebacker is probably the biggest uh, part of our defense. And okay. I'm glad I can. Uh, Your coach is about to talk to you guys. I'm going to let you go. But, but hey, what a great win. For thank you. you thank you. Arson. What a great win. Have a good night.